October 25, 2007. The 7 0 Boston College Eagles entered a Thursday night matchup with the eighth ranked Hokies of Virginia Tech as the newly appointed number two team in college football. In each of the previous three weeks, every team holding that spot had fallen. But with national title hopes riding on every game, BC wasn't ready to join that list. The setting, a rain-soaked lane stadium filled with close to 70,000 members of Hokie Nation. Virginia Tech's Thursday night record entering the contest, an impressive 13-2. But the footnote not to be overlooked, both of those losses were at the hands of the Eagles. For the first 55 plus minutes, the steady rain limited both offenses as the only touchdown came on a controversial TD catch by Tech's Eddie Royal. The play was held up after review and combined with a third quarter field goal from Hokie kicker Judd Dunleavy, the Maroon and Gold trailed 10 to nothing while their offense continued to stall out on the soggy turf of Worsham Field. Still trailing with just 4-11 remaining, backed up inside their own 10-yard line, the Eagles were staring down their first loss of the season. While any dreams of bringing another Heisman Trophy to the Heights were seemingly slipping out of Matt Ryan's hands. But the senior found his rhythm in the clutch, hitting Brandon Robinson for 23 and 22 on consecutive plays, and later finding tight end Ryan Purvis for another 20. Ryan did it on the ground as well, rushing 11 yards for a first down at the Virginia Tech 16. Three plays later, the drive culminated with a 16-yard picture-perfect pass to Rich Gunnell in the end zone. Ryan had led the offense 92 yards in just more than two minutes. Now trailing by only three, Coach Jagosinski called upon his special teams to give his squad one more shot at an improbable comeback. Tyrone Pruitt's recovery of Steve Apanavish's onside kick gave BC a two minute and seven second window of opportunity. Matty Ice went back to work from the Eagles 34 yard line. Showing poise and determination, number 12 scrambled and slung his way downfield, connecting on five of seven, including first down connections with Robinson, Gunnell, and Kevin Challenger. The Eagles had needed 66 yards for the win, and they were about to get there. Five of the play clock, snapped to Ryan. Back deep to pass at the 35. A lot of time. Man, does he have time. Chased by Ellis now. Ryan, past the 30. Throw into the end zone for Callender. Touchdown! Andre Callender's got it! Touchdown, Boston College! Unbelievable! The crowd's stunning 24-yard touchdown strike to Andre Callender put BC ahead 14-10 with just 11 seconds remaining. On this night, it wasn't the stat sheet that told the story, but the heart and drive of the entire Eagles team. The defense, led by Nick Larkin's two sacks, had held the Hokies to just 10 points. Special teams set up the game-winning drive. And led by their quarterback, the offense had pulled through in the clutch. Boston College was 8-0 for the first time since 1942. And ACC Co-Player of the Week Matt Ryan's candidacy for the Heisman Trophy was validated. The Maroon and Gold retained their spot at number two in every major poll, including the BCS standings. It wasn't only the biggest win in a season to remember, but one of the greatest in program history.